Let's start this video by looking at a very simple experiment. Take a rectangular cardboard sheet. First tell me, is cardboard paper a transparent or an opaque object? Yes, it's an opaque object. It means that light cannot pass through it. Make a small hole with the help of a pin anywhere on it, preferably at the center. This hole is called a pinhole. Keep this cardboard paper directly below the sun which is our source of light. Since our cardboard is opaque, its shadow will be formed on the ground on the opposite side. Observe its shadow. Can you see a small spot of light on it? Where does it come from? Yes, this light comes from the small hole that we made in a cardboard paper. In fact, this circular spot of light is nothing but the image of the sun. What's an image? When we look into the mirror, we see a duplicate of ourselves. This is an image, an exact copy of us. Similarly, this is an image of the sun. But the only difference is that this isn't a perfect image. As you can see, the hole that we made is really very small. So only a tiny amount of light is passing through it. Hence, this is almost a point-sized image of the sun. What will happen if you make this hole bigger? More light will pass through the hole now. But look at the image. Although its size is increased, it's distorted. It's appearing blurry now. So if the size of our pinhole is small, we get smaller but sharper image. And the larger size of pinhole gives us larger but blurry image. Have you ever seen small circles of light formed under a thick tree like the one shown below? Yes, these are the images of the sun. They're also formed because of the light passing through the small hole. But what acts as a pinhole here? The small gaps between the leaves act as a pinhole. Don't confuse this image of the sun with its shadow. This is the image of the sun and not its shadow. Just one last thing before we end this video. And you are really going to like it. You must have heard of something known as solar eclipse. Do you know anything about it? Meaning of eclipse is similar to the word blocking of light. But we reserve this word for the celestial objects like the sun and the moon. Solar eclipse occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth, where the moon blocks the light of the sun. What will this result in? The shadow of the moon will be formed on the earth. But here is one interesting thing. We can see this eclipse using our pinhole camera. As the moon comes between the earth and the sun, it blocks the light entering the pinhole and hence its shadow gradually replaces the image of the sun. Note carefully that this is a shadow of the moon and not the image of the moon. Again, don't get confused between the shadow and the image. Just a note of precaution. Do not look directly at the sun with your naked eye. Okay, so let's get back to our image of the sun. Now we know that the sun is a luminous object. But can we see images of non-luminous objects through the pinhole? Yes, we can. But we need a different setup for that. Let's discuss that in the next video.